So suppose we want to make this game a little more interesting by rather than having just a bunch of one-point fish that all behave the same way, that we add in some different fish that behave even differently. So I, I, I see two different ways that we could do this. One is to have a different kind of fish that maybe moves faster, but because he moves faster is worth more points. So I'm going to take uh, and, and copy and get one more version of this fish, fish four. Uh, I'm going to go into Fish 4, however, and I'm going to go into his costumes and give him a different look. So I'm going to go back into the library and go back down to the fish uh, area. I missed him there. I want this fish right here. We're going to make this sort of yellow fish, and this yellow fish is going to be a fast-moving fish. Right? He's going to, instead of moving three steps each time, uh, let's actually have him move twice as fast. Let's have him move six steps each side time. And so you can just see that right now. Now he moves much faster. Now, in theory, he should be harder to catch, right? In theory, he should be harder to catch. So we might actually come into him and say that when I catch him, I get two points. The purple fish still all move at three steps per motion, and I get one point. But the yellow fish moves twice as fast, and I get twice as much points. And so right? now it turns out that's not actually really that hard because he moves so fast. He sometimes comes right at me, but I can. Try to catch him. See, I'm having a hard time catching him now. There we go. But we get some points. Okay, So that's an easy way to, to modify this. But let's now change this to the complete opposite. What happens if we add in a bad fish? Maybe we want to add in a poison fish, a fish that we need to avoid, right? a fish that will make us sick and will take away points. So let's make a copy of this good fish and do the same kind of thing here. I'm going to go into his costumes and I'm going to add a different sprite. And there was a sprite for this, for the down here in the fish for this one. And I love this guy. He's, he even looks like poison, even looks like bad news, right? So we can come into that script and we can have him move. Let's have him move only at three steps per time. He's going to be just a kind of a slow meandering fish. Um, in fact, let me even take it slower than that. Let me make it two. Um, but then he's a bad fish, and so if I catch him, I actually lose a point. We change the score by negative one and go down. Okay, so let's do this. You see that I've got the, the thing going on. I catch some fish, right? Four points, five points, six points, seven points. But now if I catch this bad fish, notice I just lost a point. Right? And it's sort of hard to see that right now as I'm gaining points. But let me see if I can get away from everybody. All right. We're going to, right now I've got 15 points, 17 points. But when I catch the fish, I went back down to 16 points. Right. So I am actually reducing the score when I get to that poison fish. Now, that's not bad, but, but it, it was really actually hard to, to judge there. Right. When I got things, I did go down points. But, but unless you were really watching the score, you might not even notice that you were going down. So let's add one more set of, of changes in this increment. Let's have it so that when I catch the poison fish, that in fact my shark gets sick. And we see that he ate poison. And this actually turns out to be really easy to do, because in the shark's costume set, one of the costumes for the shark is kind of this grumpy, sick-looking shark. Right, so let's go back to the script. If we want to change his costume, we know that at some point in there, we want to change his costume to the sick shark for a little bit, maybe for uh, five or six. Maybe let's do, let's do three seconds. And then after he's done with that, we want to change him back to, to the good shark, to the healthy shark again. So he's sick for a little bit. And the question is, how do we do that? Well. This is what I talked with you about before, that we, it might be that we just want to say, let's have him looking it for, is he touching the fish? So let's see here. Control, if you're touching, in this case, fish number set five was the bad fish. I don't like to have the fish numbers here, because that's, that's sort of confusing. So I'm going to click on fish five. Remember that if we click on this information, we can give him a new name. So let's call him bad fish. Right? And so now we have bad fish. I can come in here to the shark and say, if the shark is touching the bad fish, 
I want to have him get sick and just freeze for a minute and not move. Okay, so let's look. Okay, I can try to avoid the bad fish. I can get lots of points. Right. But if I get over here next to poison fish, he gets sick and he freezes. He doesn't move for a few minutes. Right. And so that's a pretty cool way to have this work. So in our increment, we added in good fish, we added bad fish. We've got a much more dynamic game going right now. What we want to look at in our next video is the fact that we actually have a small problem. And so let's look at how we can fix that.